were the best of times. They were the good of times. There were times of remembering and times of not remembering. I don't remember a lot from California that I want to remember. Nor do I know a lot from Ohio. <coughs> but I sure do know a lot here in Maine. Uh, at least I got my coffee. Coffee kicks in. And, uh, fuck my day. Two in the afternoon in the fucking afternoon. <laughs> Even though I started my day earlier this morning, I feel awake. <laughs> I feel like, you know, it's officially a day. I usually work early mornings. I'm up early mornings. You know, doing my job, which is um, part-time box handler, not part-time. I want to identify as full-time Twitch streamer. I want to identify as that. I don't know if people can accept that, but I wish people could accept me as a full-time live streamer. That'd be nice if people actually identified me as who I am, and not what I am. It's like, you are punk. Yes, I am punk. <laughs> there are many, there are many punks, but there's only one punk, and that is me. I, I'm proper anime punk. <laughs> uh, but, talking to people, and interacting with people. It's a little brand new sometimes. Have so many, have so many conversations with people, it's kind of funny. And then I have conversations with others and certain conversations, they always, they're always weird topics. But it's like talking, you know, sometimes you just talk for 30 minutes or less, then you realize that, well, sometimes 30 minutes of silence is better than 30 minutes of talking, so, I'll tell you what, looking back at, uh, last night, I'm so grateful that I rewatched A Silent Voice, that movie is just so fucking amazing. And, uh, it made my night, it made my night so much better last night. Minus the fact that I saw a scary movie that wasn't scary. It was just, <laughs> it didn't scare me. But still have questions, because it, you know, it could be better. It could be better. And, 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 and scary movies nowadays could be better. It could be scarier. It could be more intense. But it's the amount of intensity you want to take it to. So you don't want to ever take your intensity to an 11 when you're just chilled out of 6. When you're chilled out of 6, you're just chilled out of 6. You keep it out of 6. Excitement level, you know, can get really high. I mean, really high. And people may or may not like me when I'm high. Because I'm like a drunk when I'm high. And when I'm drunk, it only takes me a certain amount of time before I enjoy a good marijuana trip. 
So, I had a good, great marijuana trip in Maine last night. It was great. Fun experience. I woke up and everything was hunky dory. Everyone's living life. It's great. But I, I, I look at certain things myself, and I'm just like, uh, it should have been improvement, but, eh. As long as no one got hurt, and I didn't get hurt, there's no problem. There's no problem. But I did notice that we get, I got banned on Facebook Live. I didn't notice that. In like 243 countries. So. That's news to me. Is it good news? Is it bad news? You know, it's news to me. I can sneeze at it, but. What did I say? Other than the fact that I really don't say a lot of things, I try not to. I try to be silent. I try to be a mute. Try to block everything out. I try. I try to forget everything from California and Ohio. I try to just remember what happening to me. <laughs> That's where I find myself. Day in, day out. In the new studio here in Maine. With a beautiful lake house. Great view. <coughs> and beautiful weather. Ah. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful afternoon, actually. So, I overslept. <laughs> But I was up, actually. I didn't oversleep. I was, I, li I literally live streamed for eight hours last night. Felt great. Only four hours was recorded. The other four hours, I was just, I was up. I was up just talking, playing dark, having a good time. Uh, and, uh, so, thank you for the nine viewers that did watch, you know, some of the 30 minutes. If you didn't watch some of the 30 minutes, or if you missed it out, you can watch it on YouTube if you want. Or you can... hear it for the next 30 minutes. Uh, segment. But, nevertheless, what goes to God, right? Uh, silence, golden, and duct tape is silver. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know it's sort of a dark talk joke, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I made a lot of friends, you know. A lot of friends over 
a great period of moving into a new environment, a new situation. I made a grace period where I basically told myself people that I don't want to be friends with, they have an X on their faces. And uh, I don't talk to them. I don't remember them. And people ask me, are you sure about that? And I'll tell them, yeah. Because the people who have X's on their head, when I look at them, when I see them, when I even think about them, they're dead to me. I know it's sad, but that's how I see people. I know it's just like the movie, which I know it's a movie. Your life isn't like a movie. No, it's not. My life is like a fucking TV drama with cringe factors in it. <laughs> but uh, my show, it's it's not always happy. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a not over dramatic show. It's just, it's my mental health deteriorating. slowly fading away, because, you know, my mental health right now is at a good point where everything is perfectly normal, you know, to, to, to know that I was never crazy. I was never insane, but I, 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 I figured out a theory that unlocked a mystery in, in my own quest of figuring out things, which I figured out uh, why I used to, used to have friends. What I used to call friends. I used to be. I used to call people friends. I used to. But after a certain time, amount of time, which five years, five, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Two years, five days, some friends don't exist in my life anymore. Forever. And always. That's why there's silence. That's why I don't have a lot of words for talking. But sometimes I let music do the talking for me. But sometimes music, you know, if you listen to music, you hear a melody, you hear a beat, and it's just like, oh yeah, cool. But then you listen to the lyrics, and you hear the lyrics, and you're just like, no way. That song's about what? Songs. 
like, if I could, if I could, I would. I would. Oh, I've done this before. I've written down like a whole playlist of songs, and I figured out how to tell a story from songs, and it makes a good soundtrack <laughs> to like just filling in like portions of of a filler, where it's like I'm talking, but it's just like all right, not really talking. You're just. You're spouting off random things. Oh. Random and noxious things. <laughs> it's like, alright. So people, and sometimes you get the best of me, but. Sometimes they usually always get the worst of me. And they bring out the, the side of me that... I don't know why they just like the, the side. They like the, the side of me that gets all serious. I hate the serious side. Yeah, I don't want to be serious my whole life, you know? Not my whole life. I mean, like... But I, I've lost the side of me that I find comfort in. And people just listening for a change, you know? That's if they listen. But if they don't listen, and they're silent. Are they dead? To me, sometimes they are. But then you, you check on them and they're like, nope, they're still alive. You know, I always thought people would check on me, keep tabs on me. Always ask me if am I dead yet? And I'd be like, nope, I'm living the dream. Find out the dream is a, is a, is like a, it's a coma that you you got into a car crash and you're, you're experiencing flashbacks of the horrible car crash that, you know, you told the doctors you're fine, the doctors cleared you and said you're fine, but yet you're, you're experiencing, you know, horrible memories. So it's like, do you want to talk about your horrible experiences, experiences and memories, or do you want to talk about you know, random things. Talk about random things. I want to talk about random things. So, it's random today. Here's, uh... Well, actually, nothing's happening on the lake. Chipmunk hasn't done anything, and the ducks aren't around. But it is a beautiful day on the lake. You know, like half my day has been not wasted. Like I didn't waste half my day. I was up early this morning <laughs> until like almost four. <laughs> so. 
got my sleep and I'm, I'm up and this is my day. I'm making the best of it. So, silence, silence is key. Don't say what you want to say. Don't let them hear them. Don't want to care. It's fine with me. It's fine with me. Whatever happens, happens. But in the famous words of Cowboy Bebop, happens, happens. You just gotta live with it. So, I gotta live with knowing that a lot of my great friends have sadly passed away. Oh well. It was fun while they were still alive. They don't exist in my world anymore. And that's what happens when people cut me out of their life you know, as friends. Cut me out of your life. You become dead. You become a zombie. You don't survive in my world. People die in my world. It's sad. It really is sad. People die in my world. Mm -hmm. But I every time when people live and die, they make they make their choices. You know, they make their beds, they make their. But as a lost boy and as a goonie says, never say die. So I won't die. I'll try not to. But. How much longer do I have to stay silent? Before my silence seeps out through papers and walls. You know, it seeps through, drips through. Like an IV drip on. Slow poison just drips through. And then it's like how oh, waking up and acknowledging the facts and the situation and the scenario and the moment. And then making a good judgment call on the end, to know that it was the best thing to do and the right thing to do. Never ever trust people to be your friends. So don't get too trustworthy with people, because some people, not all people, some people, have a weird way of trust. But not me. Because <laughs> I trust myself. I trust myself. I trust that I'm going to make a good judgment call. I'm always going to make a good judgment call. <clears throat> to help 
helped me for 32 years of my life. Thinking that all my friends I once had didn't exist. Help me. It's sad to think about it, but it's helped me. Depression has actually helped me to understand sadness. to overcome sadness. Learning about it, studying up on it. I'm really thinking about it. Without music, it's silent. With music, it's still silent. With everything, it's still silent. And it's great. It's perfect. It's just what I wanted. Peace and quiet. Tranquility. Silence. I get what I get. I buy what I can buy. But I don't always easily accept like others. And, you know, that's just me. But two cents put into this. I'll give you only two cents here. Two cents. Two pennies. Two tokens. Sparing myself the humiliation and the embarrassment, I'm more likely to embarrass myself by being obnoxious than I am being truthfully honest with people. But talking or just speaking out in general, sometimes I feel like I'm on my high horse. I know at these 30 minute marks, I feel like I'm on my high horse. So I'm gonna ease up on my high horse. I'm just gonna ease up. You know, I don't want people to start all going out and coming all just fucking madly insane and lash out at me because I don't need any more lashes. I already got long eyelashes. Get it? <laughs> I don't need extra long eyelashes. I got long eyelashes. <laughs> uh, so, I don't really want to take the levels and hit extreme levels because I don't like hitting extreme levels with people. I don't. In any scenario, I don't. But I always feel like it. I always feel like I'm in the hot chair. When, when I just... I start to really think and collect my thoughts. And remember you know, the good times, the bad times, and the ugly times. But I'm remembering that I just got up today at like 2.43 in the afternoon. But I've been up since 4. <laughs> but I went to sleep at around like 4 and got up around 2. Oh man, I... I got the best sleep ever. <laughs> Man, I crashed. So 
it wasn't a gnarly crash. It was just a nice crash. It was like, that's nice. Oh, the hammock's so amazing. The hammock is so amazing. Uh, it, it's something to really enjoy after you work out and after you, you fish and uh, after you get done uh, lifting weights. Like after you do a good workout and then you jump in the lake and you relax on the hammock, it is so amazingly enjoyment. It's, it's, it's pure, it's pure relaxment. It, it's like, and it's all free. I, I love it. I love it. It's all free. It's all mine. It's like, this is mine. <laughs> this is my little piece of, of happiness. <laughs> and people are like, not jealous, or not envious. They're just like, you lucky bastard, you got a lake. You have, you have, Billions and trillions of opportunities to just enjoy lake activities non-stop. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> when people, like, realize that it's like, man, but that's when, like, people start realizing. Like, people start tuning in and start listening, start caring. It's like, the, it's the moment where they hear something and they're just like, do we want to hear that at the moment? Or do we want to hear sadness? Do we want to hear the, the side of, of, of things that could be helpful? Because you're just, you're just talking, and someone's listening in those moments, you know? Anyone could be listening. So for me, I always imagine my best friend, my best friends that I used to have, you know, I imagine that they're listening, but my best friends became bullies. Just like, like my heart, like, hey dad, I'm talking Hello? out loud to myself. Is that like streaming? No, it's not streaming, it's just a, it's just a video just talking to myself. Why do I, oh, so it stays on your phone? Yeah, so it's like a memory memento of. Okay, well I like the sound of that, why is it rational? Sorry. And so memento is like, what did you do today? Oh, okay, make it sure. Should you empty your ashtrays? Yeah. Okay, cool. Like, so what did you do today? Since I got up, I've been up since four. I worked out. Shit. Went fishing. Went fishing? Yeah. Didn't catch anything. But I worked out. Yeah. They're just mementos. I guess they're just short videos that, once you reach the 30 minute mark, they either become mementos or they either become, I don't know, strings. But mostly they're just mementos. Yeah. No, I'm good. I got a no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's okay, Corey. You can come.